I picked up a hydraulic brake and I'm going to install it on the Coleman CC100X mini bike, but I don't think it's going to be a direct bolt on. I think I'm going to have to make a plate or weld up a plate for this to actually bolt on. I'm going to try to do it without welding, just maybe bolt a plate together. But if not, I'll just have to go ahead and weld it. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I think this little bike will benefit pretty good with a, um, a hydraulic brake. So let's pull this old brake assembly off here. I think this bike will benefit from a hydraulic brake. Definitely can't hurt it. Pull this handle off. Still a good brake. I can use this on another bike. Maybe the um, micro bike or something. Alrighty. Too bad it wasn't as easy to put on as it is to take off. Yeah, so this mounting plate is not going to do it for that hydraulic brake. So I might have to come up with a plate here. Maybe come up a little bit and over. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. So, to get this thing up on the disc here, into a line with everything. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use half of this bracket. Looks like I can bolt it to um, the stock bracket on the bottom. It'll set the caliper about right on the disc with it bolted to the bottom. Once I get the bottom one bolted down, then I'll figure out the top mount. So anyway, let me see if I can bolt that down. Let me see if I can use one of the stock bolts on here. One of the bolts that came on the um, factory brake. And then put a couple spacers behind it. Or a few washers. I'm guessing about four. We'll see if uh, four spacers behind this thing is enough we got four washers behind there and then the um, stock bolt now let me see if i can bolt the caliper to that bottom mount hopefully we'll see all right now nah, that's pretty much centered all right so four washers about pretty much centered on there so that's pretty good right there so now I figure if you run a piece of metal from this bottom bracket down here up to the um, caliper, that might work. So we'll run a piece of metal from there to there and bolt it down here at the bottom. And then come up here and cut it off and then run some spacers behind that one too. And that'll be an easy mount. Bolt on mount so you don't need a welder. So let me see if I can cut this. To length cut this about right here all right so let me cut this about right there on that mark Alrighty, so that should be about long enough. Hopefully, we'll see. So let me grind the edge of this off and then drill a hole. Got the edge of it ground off, kind of rounded it off to match the mount on the brake. Now, now just clamp it down here and drill a hole through here and bolt it down and then bolt it to the top and put some spacers on there. So let me clamp that. So there we go. So now I just bolt that to here, drill a hole through it, 
and bolt it down. And then drill a hole at the top here and then put some spacers back here. Kind of like on the bottom mount where I use those four spacers down there, right here. Do the same up here. And I think it'll hold it in place really good. I mean, I could weld this on here, tack it on here, or bolt it either way. But I mean, I think bolting it is just as easy. And what's cool about bolting it is you don't need a welder. So anybody could just get a piece of metal here and drill a hole, put a couple bolts in it, and then drill the hole up here. So I think I'll just bolt it down. So let me drill this right there in the middle of the bracket there. I'll just put a bolt in it for right now, just so I can get the mark on top for the um, top bolt. this one out okay there we go so let me mount my bracket on here make sure all my holes line up put a little loctite on that bolt just make sure it don't come off all right let me just snug this one on here so i can move it around still a little bit all right, so I got four spacers. I'm gonna put on this one too. Or washers. All right. So there's that one. Let me tighten the bottom one down. Okay, should look back there. Looks like it clears everything. Got the bolt here, which clears the um, disc easy. And then your four spacers on this one. And then you got your four spacers down on the bottom. So it holds it right in the middle on the caliper, on the disc. Yep, looks pretty nice and solid on there. Okay, got it all bolted on there. I, put, I ended up using three spacers, and then the caliper still floats like it's supposed to without interfering with anything. So that'll work. So it's a very simple bracket, and you got a big amount of pad touching the um, disc. And the cable comes out here at the bottom, which is nice. So now I can just run it up under here. And, all right, so I can just zip tie that. And run that up through there. I have to pull out this handle grip. I already put some WD-40 on here, so it'll pop right off. There you go. So pull this handle up. Throw a couple zip ties on here to hold this uh, line down. Okay, there we go. CC100X hydraulic brake install. Seems like it uh, works pretty good. Fits on there nice, everything fits good. The hydraulic line comes out in a nice spot, so it's easy to uh, tie down. So pretty cool. So all you got to use is a few spacers and a 
piece of metal and it's a bolt-on no welding so that's cool 